Is it possible to wake up within a dream and use that awareness to heal repressed traumas, increase athletic performance, and even communicate with deceased loved ones? This ability for the dreamer to be aware that he or she is dreaming is called lucid dreaming. In this state of awareness, the dreamer can learn and receive guidance from the dream narrative, environment, and even the dream characters. The term lucid dreaming was coined by a Dutch psychiatrist named Friedrich van Eden in 1913. However, early references to this phenomenon can be found in ancient Greek writings, as well as in ancient Hindu and Buddhist practices. In 1975, parapsychologist Keith Hearn proved that people can be conscious in their dreams by having his test subjects give coded eye signals while they were dreaming, thus proving that they were lucid. When people were in the dream state, they were able to communicate by moving their eyes right, left, right, left, you know, going back and forth. This was conscious signaling from the lucid dream state world to the lab techs? Yes, and that was what demonstrated mm -hmm. that lucid dreaming was a reality. Before jumping into how to lucid dream, are there any actual benefits to learning this practice? Well, studies show that lucid dreaming can literally rewire your brain. During normal dreaming, the part of your brain called the visual cortex is activated, and your prefrontal cortex which is associated with your sense of self, is deactivated. But during a lucid dream, your prefrontal cortex suddenly gets activated. Once the prefrontal cortex is activated, neuroplasticity becomes activated too. And this is where it gets really interesting. Neuroplasticity, of course, the phenomena of the brain to rewire itself in favor of a repeated action or habit. What you do in the lucid dream, how you spend the lucid dream, actually rewires your brain in favor of that activity. This means that you can learn in your lucid dreams. One of the more fascinating studies coming out of Heidelberg University in Germany showed that 9% of all athletes who used the lucid dream state to practice motor skills displayed a positive impact on physical performance. The study confirmed that practicing movements in lucid dreams is possible and could possibly even improve physical performance in waking life. They were strengthening the neural pathways, which meant in the waking state when they did squats, they could do more of them, and this led to increased muscle mass. But so what? We can get a nice bum and tum if we work out in the lucid dream. Imagine if we practice our meditation in the lucid dream, if we practice being the person that we know we could be, if we could just remove that block of fear that stops us being that person. That's how we can really retrain our brains through lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming can also help us access the depths of our subconscious in order to heal trauma, release stuck emotions, and even to physically heal the body. Dreaming is medicine. You know what? The body knows what's going on inside. Yeah. One of the ways it tries to speak to us is through dreams. So you can read dreams by looking at the landscapes and conflicts inside the dream as scenes from inside the body. Being conscious in your dreams also means that you can actively try to solve current conflicts in your life. A dream character could literally walk in and say, dude, you gotta get your finances in order. We're struggling here. You need to sort this out in real life. Yeah. It's amazing what you can get from the dream if you ask. Lucid dreaming can also be a remarkably powerful method of preparing yourself for important situations, like a job interview or closing a big deal. Like a computer simulation, we all have the ability to practice anything while lucid dreaming, preparing ourselves for experiences that can be applied in waking life. You know, if you go into the lucid dream and call out, I am lovable, I attract love into my life, that's not just like me saying it now. That's like an echo chamber, you know, that's like saying it a thousand times once you do it in the lucid dream state. So it's a very, very powerful place for amplification of intent. And lastly, lucid dreams may allow you to interact with your higher self, deceased relatives, or enlightened beings who have guidance for you. It puts us in touch with wiser sources than the waking mind. It puts us in touch with the high self or greater self. It puts us in touch with the ancestors and our authentic spiritual teachers. Studies show people spend an average of 26 years of their life sleeping. So wouldn't it be great to be able to access some of that time 
in order to work on your life. Here are some steps from experts to get you started on your path to lucid dreaming. First, track your dreams every night for several weeks using a dream journal. Write down anything you can remember, including colors, sounds, visuals, or even just feelings you had. After a few weeks, review your journal and look for dream signs, which would be anything out of the ordinary that could signal to you that it was a dream as opposed to real life. Is there any, you know, weird moments going on? Is there you know, a pink elephant walking across the street? Like, that might be a sign that you're either at the circus or that you're, you're dreaming. Then, during your waking life, stop to ask yourself every so often, am I dreaming? Try doing this about 20 times per day so that you get into the habit of asking. And then all this leads up to a moment where you're in the dream and your mind that has become accustomed to asking that question, ask the question, am I dreaming? And in the dream, you just flew to this party, I'm in a dream. And then that's the moment where you've switched from not being lucid to becoming lucid. And finally, have the intention of having a lucid dream. Tell yourself over and over in your mind as you are falling asleep that you will be conscious in your dreams. So if we engage the hypnotic suggestion to become lucid in our dreams, we engage a very powerful intention that may well help us get lucid tonight. So after practicing lucid dreaming in your life for a while, what are the overall effects that you may experience? If we are in sync, we realize that we get the dreams we need at exactly the right time. There is yes. an innate, enlightened intelligence within us, which shines through in the dreams and guides us, but only if we are willing to listen and to take our fingers out of our ears. Absolutely. So if being conscious in your dreams is shown to help you manifest your desires, resolve conflicts, and even rewire your brain, then perhaps we could start looking to lucid dreaming as a guidance system that we can access and download information from every single night.